Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Family is gone, got to spend some time on the table, finished our altered book, put a fun cover on the altered book. So much fun. So it is done and dusted. I'll be doing a video on that so you can see exactly how that book turned out. Very, very fun. So uh, today we played with brown paper bag and the embosser, the cuddle bug embosser and some spray inks. Oh, yeah, I love it. Turned out great. A little tired after the family's gone, but uh, handsome hubby and Hudson and I are back in our daily routine. So up early this morning and yoga and meditation and all is well here. So see you on the table. So here's our project today. I put uh, the cover on our book. I used the brown paper bag and the embosser and some spray inks and some stays on ink and then what I wanted to do was put another cover on it so I put this cover on the front of it and this is hinged on so beautiful and that opens up to Frida Good morning. It's time to make a cover for our book, so let's get a brown paper bag and take that apart, take the bottom off, the handles off, cut it open at the seam, and then I'm just going to glue these two pieces together with Mod Podge. All right, I have the Mod Podge on my Trader Joe bag. I'm fortunate enough to have those. Make sure that the printing is on the inside, unless you want the printing on the outside. I do not. And I'm just going to press that down. I'm going to bring my ruler in, and I'm going to start tearing the brown paper bag into different sizes. I'm trying to remember the size of the embossing folders so that I don't get bigger than that. I can get smaller than that, but not bigger than that, hopefully. So tear all the brown paper bag into fun pieces. Now I ripped the brown paper bag because I'm going to glue these onto the book. I'm not going to be sewing them. And the rougher edge does glue down better than a cut edge. Now I have these all torn into smaller sizes. The Mod Podge is still a little bit damp on the inside, which I want to work with it while it is still damp because it holds the embossing in place even better. And I'm going to run these through various uh, embossing folders on my Cuddle Bug. And then I'll come back and show you. All right, look at these lovely embossed brown paper bags. So fun. I'm going to bring in my Dilution Spray and which is not my favorite. Um, I like the Lindy's better. They, it seems to hold on to their power to spray a little bit better than the dilutions, but that's just me. Use what you have. So I'm going to bring the sprays in and so start spraying these. Now I prefer the embossed side raised, but of course that is artist's choice. And I'm just going to spray each one, set it aside, and let it dry. Look at these gorgeous pieces of brown paper bag. Sent through the embosser. Sprayed with some fun inks. Ta-da! And next we are, I've dried these a little bit. I think I'm going to dry them some more, let them dry some more, because they're not quite stiff enough yet. So I'll dry these, and then I'll take the stays on ink to the embossing. So gorgeous. All right, I'm going to bring my stays on ink pad in. Just pick up that embossing. And I'll do this to all of the pieces. Look at that, that's beautiful. So 
I have the pieces all distressed or grunged with a light stays on ink pad. I used one that's kind of dry so it's not too dark. Uh, use what you have, of course. Uh, now I'm going to start gluing them on here. These are kind of big, so I am going to just go ahead and tear these down so I get more of a Frankenstein grid going. Then I'm just going to glue them onto the front of that book. So just tear your pieces and glue them onto the front and the back of your book. I'm using Mod Podge. So there's the front of the book. I'll do the spine and the back of the book. Good morning. Coffee in hand, dark o'clock, yoga done, sissy gone, handsome hubby is in the shower, and we're going to put some underpants on the back of this uh, book cover and play with that tip this morning. So I'm just going to cover this side with some random underpants. Not giving much thought to it, just going for it. Kind of fun. You can hear handsome puppy in the shower. Welcome to my world. Grab a little bit of the Lindy's uh, Starburst Cattail Copper Brown. Give that a little bit of noise. And we'll dry it. Bring in my vintage photo distress ink. Just go around the edges, pick up the edges. Let that dry. So I tried gluing the hinges on. Yeah, that's not going to work. Too much thickness going on. So what I'm going to do is we have a lot of thickness here. So what I'm going to try to do, and we shall see if this works, I am going to try and screw a hinge in. I'm going to poke a little hole there. It's really hard material, but we're going to try to uh, screw a screw in there. We shall see. Okay, so we got that to work. I'm going to install <laughs> two more hinges here. Alright, I have my three hinges on. I'm going to figure out some way to attach it here. Uh, I wish this was thick enough for the screw, but I think the screw is too long. I think it'll go through the book. We shall see. So I put a screw in here. Yes, it comes through the other side, and we're just going to have to deal with this. I'm okay with that. We'll figure out something on the other side. So I'm just poking a hole in there, grabbing a screw, and screwing it in. All right, I'm going to bring my wire cutters in, and I'm just going to base it down here, and I'm going to cut the tips of those screws off. So there's a little bit of a spur left from where I cut the uh, screw off. So what I'm doing, this is just a leftover something something. And I'm just going to use my paper punch, punch a hole in there. 
put some tacky glue on that. Thank you for that tacky glue. And put that on top of that spur. And I'll do that on the other two hinges. One, two, one, two. Alright, so I have the little dots protecting those spurs. That looks great. Here's the front of our book. Beautiful. And I think we are done with this. We'll have a little walk through later. Beautiful. All right, your turn. Go create, look at this. This is gorgeous. This is what we played with today. Go create, go play, go have fun.